Let the magic begin. Not a place on the map, but a state of mind that exists wherever people dream and wonder and imagine. It's not so much a theme park as a state of mind. A Hollywood that never was and will always be. This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com. Please like this video, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell to make sure you never miss the latest from the Disney theme parks all around the world. Special shout out to Park Candy for sponsoring today's show. I'm wearing one of their shirts right now. Head on over to this link you're looking at right now to shop with them and make sure you use the code WDWNT. Uh, that'll save you 15% and all of your purchases help to power our news operations all around the world. So all these photos and video you see captured for this show, uh, it requires a reporter to go do that. The stories that are written requires a writers and editors uh, to get those stories published and that's all that happens before they ever make it here to news today. So if you buy a shirt, you help support us. Another way to support us is to buy Dinosaur Gertie's plush of extinction. That's right. Um, we made it because Disney was Disney never made one, and we got tired of waiting. And here's Dinosaur Gertie. They're available now at this link. Um, they are quickly selling out. We are we are approaching the end of of Gertie's. So please hurry if you want one. This is the prototype. Um, when you get yours, the neck is going to be nice and solid. Uh, there's going to be actually a sewn logo on the foot. And we have a really cool surprise. I'm not going to spoil it before you get them shipped to you. Um, but uh, there's a special tag we've made. They're pre-order now. They'll ship in May for the 30th, 35th anniversary of Disney's Hollywood Studios. So make sure you grab yours before they go extinct. It's still not, you're still not laughing at that. Okay. Anyway then, here now the news for February 12, 2024. In a new video on VoteDisney.com, the Walt Disney Company CEO Bob Iger urges shareholders to vote for Disney's Board of Director nominees, not the nominees from Tri-Ann Partners or Blackwell's Capital. It has been a busy and challenging time since I returned to the company, Iger said in the video, but we've made significant prog uh, progress and I'm enormously optimistic about our future. Iger also noted that Disney has created a much more efficient and highly effective company structure since his return. He called the current board of directors who are all nominated, experienced, and highly motivated leaders. Iger says that he and the board are hoping to return to a place where we're consistently delivering shareholder value. We've already taken steps in that direction by declaring a second higher dividend and by initiating a $3 billion stock buyback program. He calls the activist investors major distractions and exactly what we don't need. You have the power to make sure we are able to continue our momentum from the past year and ensure the success of the Walt Disney Company as the world's leading and most beloved entertainment company. Iger lays out some of Disney's goals, including improving the quality of their films, transitioning ESPN into a uh, preeminent sports platform, and turning streaming into a significant growth business. A new fleet of Walt Disney World buses has begun to arrive uh, with a new system for securing mobility devices such as wheelchairs and ECVs. The buses have the same general appearance on the outside with the Disney Transport logo uh, and white and red color scheme. But the middle doors open as usual to allow guests with mobility devices to drive up the ramp right to the accessible section. But the new system to secure mobility devices is called Q-Straint. Bus drivers will assist guests with properly parking their wheelchair or ECV with the new system. To use the system, guests will back their wheelchair or ECV into the system using the yellow line as a guide. A button will lower the arm on the outside of the vehicle to secure it in place. And there are a set of fold-down seats in the bay as well. Uh, the new buses also have USB chargers on the sides and bottoms. This is something we saw with the last generation of new Disney World buses anyway. And in the back of the bus, the end seats have chargers on the sides. And for all the other seats, chargers can be found in between on the bottom. That's, of course, the seats that go uh, facing inwards. Disney has updated the booking and opening schedule for the new Disney Vacation Club cabins at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. The opening date of uh, July 1st has been confirmed to be for just Loop 1, with other loops set to open later this year. Uh, 
Booking windows for DVC and annual pass holders uh, were also announced. March 19th, Disney Vacation Club members can begin to make rental reservations online or by contacting member services at 800-800-9800. On March 20th, Walt Disney World annual pass holders can start booking rental reservations by contacting 407-934-7639. And on March 21st, all guests can make reservations online or by calling 407-934-7639. The new Disney Vacation Club cabins at Fort Wilderness are replacing the old cabins, which were not part of the timeshare program. The former accommodations were in traditional log cabin style, while the new designs are more modern style, as you're looking at now, that we don't like. <laughs> I'll have to see. I Look, I don't know if there's ever been a room tour I have been looking forward to more than bringing you guys this one because I am so curious what this is all going to look like in person. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that reservation for July 1st. I'd like to be there the first day. The Bloon Lagoon Pool and Mardi Gras Pool Bar are currently closed as they undergo a routine refurbishment at Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarter. Guests hoping to head toward the pool area of Port Orleans French Quarter are met with A-frame signs letting them know that the pool area, including Dubloon Lagoon and Mardi Gras Pool Bar, are closed. Per the Disney site, they will be closed through April. Dubloon Lagoon, the sole pool in the French Quarter section of Port Orleans, has been emptied with all the pools lining removed in preparation of a replacement. Scales, the 51-foot-long sea serpent slide, has been partially covered to protect it from the construction work. Also closed is the aquatic play area, a water play section designed for guests 48 inches and under that features water slides, fountains, and water cannons. It's unclear if they're actually doing anything with that or if it's just closed because it's connected. And while the French Quarter pool area is closed, a shuttle service is in place from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily to transport guests to Old Man Island Pool at Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside. It's also not a terribly far walk. Temporary walls are up at the location of Mardi Gras Pool Bar, and when open, the bar is conveniently located just outside the entrance of the pool. There are a number of signs around the area letting guests know a temporary bar can be found close by near Building 5 along the Sasagula River. Though temporary, the bar has a good amount of seating on both sides and heat lamps. The temporary Mardi Gras location is open from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. It features a scaled-back version of the location's menu. Guests can pick up uh, pool bar bites, specialty drinks, beer and wine, and non-alcoholic drinks there. Um, I'm hoping they don't. I love the theme of Mardi Gras. It's really cute. Uh, obviously, this is this is one of the best pool areas Disney has ever built anywhere. I love it. Um, and so I hope um, that the pool, uh, the pool bar especially, because there's been rumors for a couple of years they were going to drastically remodel that. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens to the space. Hopefully they don't mess it up. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest Vacations and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. Head on over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT and their team will design your next magical vacation from the Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts to the Disney Cruise Line to Adventures by Disney and more. They're also able to book unforgettable VIP tours where you and your group can experience the ultimate park day. And the best part is their concierge services are 100% free, so book today. Construction is trucking along at the future site of Communicore Hall and Plaza uh, in, the, in Epcot, including an update to the Communicore Plaza stage. Though the completion of Communicore Hall and Plaza was pushed back from last year to this year, progress is being made steadily. Uh, this area will take up the southwest section of World Celebration. And once completed, it'll include a new Mickey and Friends meet and greet location, a demo kitchen, a gallery space, mixology bar, and a stage for live performances. The six light structures in the photo uh, will eventually become the central area of Communicore Plaza. Beyond those lights in the background of the image will be a covered outdoor stage area, and it has recently gotten a new update. At a closer glance, you could see that the bottom of what will be the stage, it is themed to look like the exterior of Spaceship Earth. In the 2022 concept art, you can see that that's uh, exactly what they wanted it to look like. It's been, uh, but now it's there. On the side of Cunicore Hall, uh, the building closest to the Imagination Pavilion, progress has been made. On a recent visit, the top portion of the building was painted in black primer, but now uh, they are white. The wall will likely be covered in more of those Spaceship Earth uh, wall panels, but we'll have to wait and see if that happens. Disney has still not given a date on this, but now, you know, I originally, they made me look like a fool. I originally said I thought this was going to open for Flower and Garden. That seems highly unlikely now. Um, so I guess maybe food and wine? We'll wait and see. Speaking of Flower and Garden, Disney has updated the lineup for the Garden Rocks concert series for the upcoming festival. 
Newly added to the schedule since we first posted about it this year are Casting Crowns, Fonseca, and Sister Hazel, while Funkafield and the Female Collective have swapped dates. The Garden Rocks performances will be at the America Gardens Theater at 5.30, 6.45, and 8 p.m. nightly. The Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival runs from February 28th through May 27th. If you want to see the full list, it's at WDWNT.com. The Disney Eats page shared a first look at the new food items and slushies that will be available on Grand Avenue at Hollywood Studios. The post also confirmed the name of the new restaurant or kiosk. It'll be Ice Cold Hydraulics. That will be the name. We told you about that last week. The new kiosk will serve candy-painted cinnamon rolls. These mini cinnamon rolls are topped with Coca-Cola-infused glazed and toasted nuts. The Bouncin' Mini Churros are savory churros chop, uh, topped with Coca-Cola and, and bourbon candied bacon, sriracha aioli, and scallions. And for a refreshing drink, guests will be able to get Fanta Blue Raspberry, Minute Maid Lemonade, or Coca-Cola Frozen Slushies. They're also available with Jack Daniels Whiskey, Bacardi Superior Rum, or Stoli Vanilla Vodka. Disney Eats stated that ice cold hydraulics will open, quote unquote, soon. Disney Cruise Line revealed the completed Disney Treasure Bow artwork uh, featuring Captain Minnie Mouse in her adventure outfit. We got a first look at the bow design last April before the construction of the ship's blocks was complete. But Minnie is pictured in a wide brimmed hat holding a telescope on a golden medallion surrounded by filigree featuring the silhouettes of more Disney characters. Minnie was promoted to captain with the launch of the Disney Wish and debuted a new captain's outfit. For the adventure-themed Disney treasure, she has a new Voyager outfit. The Disney Treasure's maiden voyage begins on December 21st, 2024. Disney is currently casting uh, for the ship's new Moana stage show and the Coco Dinner Show. The Disney Treasure will also feature the Haunted Mansion Parlor Bar, the Jungle Cruise Skipper Society Lounge, and the Periscope Pub, inspired by 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and an Epcot-themed Tower Suite. Did you know there's a way you can save big at Disney Deluxe Resorts? Well, today's show is brought to you by DVC Rental Store, a great way for you uh, to plan a luxury Disney vacation on a modest budget. You don't need to sign up for a full DVC contract, but instead, they'll allow you to rent the points you need for a magical stay. And it really is the best way to stay deluxe at a fraction of the cost. And now, thanks to their lowest price guaranteed offer, you'll always have the best price on the market. The rooms are discounted up to 75% off, and they have the largest member inventory for points, so there is a lot to choose from. You can search their availability for free right now, which is something not all companies allow. And if you do choose to book, they have a great cancellation policy and a low down payment. DVC Rental Store is the number one DVC rental company in the U.S. and one we have used many times. In fact, if you've ever watched one of our Vacation Club room tours here on YouTube, you, that's probably something we book through them. Um, use them a lot, especially post-COVID. So head on over to the description and check them out. Um, it's, it's a great way to stay at these great accommodations. The Haunted Mansion at Tokyo Disneyland reopened from refurbishment last week with an update. Ladies and gentlemen has been cut from the introduction to be more inclusive of different genders. The ghost host of the Haunted Mansion at Tokyo Disneyland used to say, this is of course translated from Japanese, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Haunted Mansion. This differed from the English version of the ride, which of course is welcome foolish mortals to the Haunted Mansion. Uh, Tichiro Hori, an executive of the Oriental Land Company, voiced the ghost host at Tokyo Disneyland originally. He passed away in 2014, so the narration could not be re-recorded without hiring a completely new actor and re-recording the entire attraction. Of course, Disney began removing ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls from various announcements around 2021. It was removed from fireworks announcements at Disneyland and Disney World in March of 2021. Tokyo Disney Resort replaced gendered terms with hello everyone for the regular in-park announcements. And later that year, Tokyo Disneyland Electrical Parade Dreamlights also switched to good evening and welcome one and all. As of July 2022, Walt Disney World cast members are told to address guests as friend instead of sir or ma'am as well. For the absolute latest on all these stories and those that didn't make it into today's show, be sure to check WWNT.com and follow us on your favorite social media platforms. You can support the entire team behind the show and others by joining the WWNT Interglobe Society at Patreon.com slash WWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. Special shout out to all of our Wigs members watching who make this show happen every week. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today. Have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. From WDWNT TV, this is Park Center. Join us each week for news and discussion topics from the Disney and Universal theme parks around the world. We cover the stories in a quick, concise, and fun format, and then our panel breaks down and debates some of the biggest issues and what they mean for us, the parks fans. 
From the latest announcements to openings and delays to scandals and snacks and merchandise and more, we'll cover it all in 90 minutes. Join us live every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on YouTube at WDWNT-TV or watch episodes on demand anytime. You can also subscribe to the audio version of the show on your favorite podcast app.